Hello everybody, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in to another episode here in the series. My name is Dominic and I'm the host of the Android Factory. The last episode we went ahead and implemented this detail activity that's right behind me here, or behind the emulator. Um, and as we can see here, uh, when we click a particular item in our list, we are sent to another screen. We load up a URL here for the actual article um, that is a part of this particular element here. Uh, that we are fetching from Firebase. So if you missed it, go ahead and check it out. I'll link a card in the top right. Um, and then if we notice here, there's a little bit of a lag uh, from when we click this here. It was quite small there, but when the uh, article is loading in, basically there's no good, um, you know, like loading indicator or anything like that. The user kind of has no idea what's happening. Uh, and if you have a poor network connection or something like that, uh, this will obviously take longer to load and uh, you know we want to give the user the best experience so we can go ahead and basically add in a loading state here to our web view um, via the web view client class here so I'm just gonna go ahead and create the client here so let's just create it by saying um, client equals it will be an object that extends the web view client and then inside here we can actually override a particular function. Um, I believe it's called on page finished. Yeah, I think that's the one. Um, let's see if there's any documentation on it. So notify the host application the page has finished loading. So basically, we're just looking into um, you know some of these functions that exist here on page started, uh, on page finish, and we can kind of uh, you know notify the user or do something to the UI in these different states when these functions are invoked. Uh, should override URL loading. There's a whole lot of like, you know, you can sniff the URL before anything like that or before it's displayed to the user and then, you know, maybe do something instead. Like if you make it to a particular web page, you can uh, immediately bounce them out because you know it's like a success or something like that. So uh, a whole bunch of stuff you can do inside this web view client. But for our sake here, we are just going to alter something in the UI. So I don't think we have a content loading progress bar in here. We do not. So let's go ahead and actually do that. We're just going to create one here. Uh, we'll leave it at wrap wrap. We will give it the ID. Go ahead and copy all of these constraints because we want it centered in our parent. So we can just very easily do that. And then the style here, yep, this is what we were looking for here. So the style set to the attribute for the progress bar style large, that will just create this um, little you know, loading wheel here. Uh, and then we can set the indeterminate only to be true. So it'll just kind of continuously load um, and like spin there until we do something. So um, we can at this point here call binding dot content loading progress bar dot hide. And that will go ahead and hide our progress bar as you can imagine. And then I guess the last little bit here is just setting our um, web views client here, which I believe, yeah, is just with the web view client. And we can just very easily set it to that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just move this down here so that the last thing we kind of do is set the URL so that we have a little bit of a loading state uh, involved and by default this visibility here this content loading progress bar is going to be shown so basically the user is going to land on the page you will see the uh, loading wheel and then when we do have a particular page finish loading we close it and then the content will be behind uh, or I guess it will kind of be replaced by the loading uh, wheel there and so the application is finished loading we're going to go ahead and uh, as soon as we get here, we can go ahead and click on one of these items. Uh, emulator is running a little slow, apologize, but if we click it, we should see, oh boy, yeah, quite laggy, but we do see a little bit of a loading state here. Um, this is perfect because the network is taking its sweet time. Uh, and yeah, I mean, unfortunately, the lag kind of uh, bled through. So let's see if we can get one that just kind of operates as we would expect here. Now this seems to be working a little bit better, so let's give it a whirl. Yeah, so you could see there exactly a little bit of a loading state looked kind of clean. And then when we went back uh, or when it was gone, the, um, the data came on screen and then that's it. The user has a little bit of feedback. They know what's happening, all that kind of stuff. So pretty helpful stuff there. Pretty useful to provide a loading state to your users. Obviously, it's always good to give them feedback and keep them uh, you know, in the loop and informed with what your application is doing. 
really lets them know that you've thought about all the different angles and all the different situations they could be in. So this is a simple example of how you can spin up a little bit of the WebView client, use it to your advantage here, overwrite a single function, uh, and then just interact with the UI at that point in time. So I want to keep this video a little shorter. Uh, so that's going to do it for me here today, folks. I think the last thing we're going to do here in the next episode is maybe implement a little bit of a heart icon down here in this corner so you can basically favorite particular news items and elements and such like that. Uh, this will require us to actually write to Firebase, so that will hopefully be um, you know, useful information instead of just reading from Firebase. We're now going to write to it, so that'll be super exciting. And then from there, we will figure out what we will do next. But if you made it this far in the video and you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out in the channel as we push for 1,000 subscribers. Uh, quite crazy to be getting there. And I really, really appreciate all the feedback and support that I've gotten so far. And obviously, if you made it here, please consider giving a like to the video, sharing any of this content to any of your friends, anyone you think would uh, benefit from it. I'm here to hopefully make your lives easier. And um, yeah. Let's, uh, let's do it together. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.